guys, Hacksaw Tech here for another video. And today what we're going to be talking about is how you can actually light up your keys if you don't have a backlit keyboard. Uh, now a lot of people have done videos on how to do this before, but we're going to take a different approach. I'm going to show you um, sort of a hack that you can use to light up the keys on your laptop keyboard, even if they are not backlit. And this method um, is going to make it much easier for you to be able to uh, keep your keyboard nice, not have to put on a permanent solution, um, but you're going to be able to easily light them up so that you can see them in the dark. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay guys, so what you can see here is I do have a laptop and I've got my keyboard cover that has all of the keys here. We're going to zoom in here just really quick. You can see on my cover here that I have all the keys already adhered to the keyboard. So both of these are adhesive options. The second one here, which I'm going to zoom in on, these black and yellow stickers are also options that I found on Amazon. Um, I do not recommend these primarily because they do not glow in the dark. Um, they're brighter than just, you know, what's going to be obviously on your keyboard, but they do not work well um, if you're trying to completely light up your keyboard. So that's not what we're going to be talking about today. But I do have this cover here that has the keys already uh, adhered. And so all I've done is I've just taken these adhesive uh, luminescent keyboard stickers and I've applied them to a silicon keyboard protector and so all I have to do now is simply take this keyboard protector and I can place it straight on my keyboard as such. Now the reason I wanted to show this option is because what you can see here is that instead of having to apply the actual keyboard stickers directly to your keys, you can simply apply them to your keyboard protector and that way at night when you want to use the keyboard keys lit up, You'll be able to put on the cover, you can use them for that purpose, and then you can take that cover off very easily so that you're not interfering with the comfort of the keys uh, and the aesthetics of your key. So you can see that right now they're not really glowing in the dark, but let me just show you um, the difference here. If I simply take a flashlight and put it over the keys, you'll notice how they very quickly change. All I have to do is simply just move this over the keys, and you're going to begin to notice that they're going to start to light up a little bit more, and if I zoom in, what you're now going to notice is as I start to move the light just over the keys, very quickly they're going to start to become illuminescent. And if I do this over the entire keyboard here, you're going to see that very quickly they're going to become very bright. Now obviously you don't actually have to do this to make them light up. All you have to do is keep this keyboard cover um, in a lit up environment and they're going to absorb that light. Okay, so you can see that it's already starting to make a difference, but let me go ahead and turn out the light so you can see what it's going to look like. Okay, so you can see that without really even putting too much light on them, that they're very lit up here, and I can zoom out. When I turn the brightness down on my laptop, you can see a much better picture here. This gives you a better idea of how illuminescent it is. So in literally a fully dark environment here with just a little bit of outside light coming in, you can very clearly see the keys. They're very lit up. Uh, and you can see them at a distance here. So all it takes is just leaving this keyboard cover um, in the light uh, during the day so that it'll absorb that light. And then by nighttime, you'll be able to just apply that keyboard cover to your laptop keyboard and you'll be able to easily see your keys. So this is a really great alternative to having to purchase a separate laptop with keyboard backlight or install it yourself. Um, or again, I have seen videos of people applying these keys, uh, these stickers, to your keyboard, which you can do, um, but then of course that's going to interfere with the aesthetics of it, and so during the day if you don't want those permanently adhered, if you think it looks ugly, um, then this is a really good option because you're going to only use this at night, and when it's nighttime, you don't really care what your keyboard looks like anyway. So this is just a temporary solution for nighttime only. Remove it when you don't want to use it, and it solves your problem. So I will have a link in the description, guys, to where I got these keyboard stickers. It is the only place I found online that has appropriate keys. Now what you will notice is I got a little bit creative here, and you can see that, for example, with the Enter key, um, I got actually with the purchase that I made on Amazon, the one I'm going to have in the description, you actually get two full packs. So it's two full packs um, with all of the letters and different keys here that you can see. Um, but there were a few different keys I had to get creative with, like there was not one specifically for the enter key. So I got creative and put E in. Um, same thing for MG over there for the magnifying glass to do a search, things like that. So I made a couple custom keys just out of what was available. Um, and then I made some custom keys for the arrows up and down. Um, but what you'll notice there is that primarily the letter keys and the number keys 
those all come with this pack. Um, again, I could not find a good pack on Amazon or anywhere else that had every single key on my keyboard, so you can customize them. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, and you might not even need to do that anyways if you don't need the enter key, um, or some of those bigger keys will be a little bit easier to press. What you really need is the letter keys anyway. And that's all available in the link in the description, as well as I will have a link to the keyboard cover that I use, but of course that's only for my specific Chromebook, um, so you can just use that link um, to look at other keyboard covers for whatever laptop or Chromebook model that you have and find one that fits your needs. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you how I got around this problem. Let me know what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.